1970 was a tough time for our country. It was a tough time for universities and, and the communities in which they lived. Students were protesting. America was protesting. It was a very difficult time. I was at the University of Rochester in graduate school. I remember the day very vividly. Of course, it was a, a shocking event in American history, and we recognized as a graduate student at the time that this was going to change the course of events in the war in Vietnam, that the events that took place in Ohio were going to have long-lasting effects for our country. Do you see that as a, as a significant place in history for Kent State in that regard? I think the events of May 4th were a significant event for the United States, for the changing of how our democracy uh, is viewed by the world. I think it changed the war in Vietnam, and it certainly had an indelible effect on Kent State University as an institution. What we saw in the aftermath, of course, were decreases in enrollment and people being concerned about their safety. Of course, those were unfounded concerns. Things were as safe in Ohio then as, as they are now. Uh, but the reality is it did leave a... Um, a bad taste in people's mouth as to what happens on university campuses, not just at Kent State. People were concerned about Berkeley. People were concerned about Jackson State. People were concerned about Ohio State. We just happened to be the flashpoint, uh, the day at which it happened, the place at which it happened, and it changed the future of American history. We are going to recognize and pay respect to May 4th, to the students who are lost, to the students who are injured. But I think we've learned a great deal from May 4th. We've gone beyond May 4th, and what we're going to do is respect what happened in the past and try and put it in a historical context so that people recognize that our democracy grew stronger because of what happened at May 4th at Kent State. We recognize that our democracy needs free speech, a democracy where there's an open exchange of ideas, a democracy where inquiry trumps violence. America has been a, an experiment that's worked so well for so many years. We change presidents, we change vice presidents, we've had assassinations, we've had assassination attempts, but our democracy continues to live. I think May 4th is part of that. And so I think remembering our past, learning from it, and moving on is part of what we're going to do on May 4th.